And this is the one that actually glows under blue light. So she got that fluorescent protein. Hey, what's up, Reefers? Thank you for coming in. Welcome to the x Lotto Tank update video. Now, I know this video may not be as popular as the other ones because not everybody is interested in the x Lotto Tank, so thank you for coming in. I'll start by saying off that initially, I was kind of hesitant in terms of keeping an x Lotto, but Emily really wanted one when we saw them. So we set up a tank about a year ago, and it was a 20-gallon long tank. One thing leads to another, we got another Exolado pretty quickly and eventually they outgrew their tank. So this video is about the transition from the 20 gallon long tank to a much larger tank for them. I have to admit, I was not crazy about the Exolado initially, but very quickly, um, they really captured my heart and they have really distinct personality and my mindset changed 180. Along the way, I got in touch with the Exolado community and I have to say, this is a really passionate community. They feel strongly about what they believe is right but at the same time they're also really really kind people i don't know just like different types of pets kind of bring out different types of personalities but for the Lado, they're just a nice nice group of people that's just really passionate about their pets well with that said thank you for coming in either you have an Lado or is interested or just fo been following along on this youtube channel either way thank you for coming in i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video on the way out make sure to hit that thumbs up <laughs> i never used to ask for this apparently it helps with uh uh, YouTube ranking, so I guess, yeah, hit that thumbs up, please. <laughs> All right, enjoy the video. Flashback. What's up, Reefers? So the time is upon us. It has been a long time coming. When you see here, this is the Exolado tank. It's a 20 gallon long tank. It has two Exolados in there for, I think, what, like, oh man, look at them. Oh, they got large, right? Look, here's my hand. So they're roughly like eight inches or nine inches each. They've grown. So for a while, they've been living in this 20 gallon long tank. And I quickly realized that this is not gonna be large enough for both of them. So there's the 40 gallon breeder tank. In terms of decoration, we have a really nice piece of driftwood right here. And for substrate, the substrate is another big thing that I really wanna change out. Because like in this tank, I'm using the two layer substrate, which turned out to be a huge mistake. I got black sand on the top. These are the fluoride black sand. And underneath it, I have the potting soil, kind of like the uh, plant the tank. Now the plant likes it. However, as the exolato got a little bit larger, they started digging a little bit more. And as a result, all these larger chunks started floating to the top. So every day my morning routine has been using a net to kind of scoop out all the larger pieces and the sand's gonna fall through the crack of the net, which is no big deal, but it's pain in the butt. This 40 gallon breeder tank, I'm gonna use this substrate. So this is the control soil that a lot of people recommended. These are the extra fine, the powder form uh, in black. They're pretty small right here and they're really soft. So they should have it. Be, they should be able to pass through the Exolado's digestive system with no issue in case of accidental ingestion. Right now, our goal is to swap places for these two tanks and then we're gonna cycle the larger one. And hopefully in a, a week or two, we can add the Exolado into the much larger and safer home. By the way, guys, I wanna show you guys the best tool of 2018. Calendra, Calenda, Calendra. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is a uh, this is a tip from the uh, Planted Aquarium friends. I believe this was discovered by George Farmers, and this has worked so well for Planted Tank and even the um, Nano Tank because I don't want to disturb the sand bed. But I got the collapsible one from Amazon. I think it's for like ten dollars or even less. Works out really well. It's made by silicone. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna add a link in the description below. Uh, so adding the soil. Good. Several months later. Hey, what's up, Reefers? Really exciting day today because today my two axolotls is about to get their new home. This is how I normally move my axolotls when, when I actually need to, which is really rare. I just use a big Ziploc bag, get her in there, and then we're gonna float it. I don't like to use net because I feel like the net is gonna damage her delicate skin. She's swimming. <laughs> she thinks everything is food. She's just kind of biting her way in. It's ridiculous. There you go. That was easy. All right, so I'm gonna get some water. It's actually a lot of water. Let's uh. All right, little girl. It's your big day. Ooh. Let's go here. I should turn off the light. I'm gonna float. Yes, let me. 
Let me turn off the light. And this is actually the ONF flat one, the light I had over the drop off tank before. Let's just um, just turn it down for now. Just really dim. Yeah, we'll just let it chill. All right, be back. We'll get your sister. Exelado number two. You know, this is actually a great time to take a look at uh, these two Exelados. This is the uh, gold one. Although she's not really all that gold, but once I get closer, you, you do kind of see some kind of these like gold flakes throughout the body, especially near the gill. Um, but she is a lot more elusive than the other one. So I don't get to see her out in the open all that much. Now, see, even she's turning away from the camera. Look at that. And if we look over here, so she is the girl that's always out and about and she's the first one that we got. And this is the one that actually glows under blue light. So she got that fluorescent protein, like those glow fish. But yeah, she's just really outgoing personality, but look at the gills and stuff like that, really healthy. They turn red because um, she's excited now or scared, using a lot more oxygen. So that's why the gill turns red. Um, same thing with this girl right here, but they all both look to be really good health. And hopefully they'll get along with the fish, but the fish should be good. I don't think these type of fish will pick up the gill, but I'll keep an eye out. But supposedly white mountain minnow should be some of the best fish to keep with exolados, if you have to keep fish with exolado. It has been about half an hour or so. I floated the bag for 15 minutes. I added some water from the tank into the bags and I let them acclimate. And throughout the entire process, both of them are really calm. And the fish came and check out, uh, check them out. <laughs> But man, if these fish keep them up, I, I feel like, I think I, right now I got seven fish. I'm probably gonna have none left at the, by the end of this week. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But now it is the time. This is it. We're gonna release the exolotls. We're gonna release the dragons into their final home. All right, this is it. By the way, the light is on the lowest setting and it's the camera adjusting. That's why it looks kind of bright, but it's actually pretty, quite, pretty dim. Hey girl, here you go. Just drop it. There you go. There's a new home. Oh yeah, immediately go in the cave, go in the cave, go in the cave, go in the cave. Yeah, she's just chilling. She's just chilling. Would it be terrible if she start like just flip, turn upside down, float up? <laughs> okay, well while she's chilling there, let's go ahead and get the. Uh... Oh oh, she's going to cave. She's going to cave. She's going to cave. There's like a little slot right in there. They can get out from the light if they want to. And behind there, we got some plants to further block the lights. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna. We're gonna get some like thicker plants and some like lilies at the top. But that is exactly why we got the branch. That's perfect. I'm gonna try to release her. Oh, wrong way. It's, it's really tough to do this one. Oh man, it's all the fish are coming. Yeah, yeah. Emily always joked that this is mine, right? This is mine, and she's, she, she's stupid. But there we go. No, she's backing up into it. She's backing up into it. There you go, there you go. I want her to feel the leaves. Man, the fish gotta step away, man. Fish is about to get eaten right away. All right, come on. Dude, what are you doing? Get off, get out of the bag. What are you doing? All right, I'm gonna just kind of shake her up a little bit. There you go, she feels a leaf. You know the leaf, that's your home. Come on, you like leaves. There you go, uh, okay. And this is actually how I envision the divided territory. Like the other one, she likes the leaf. She likes to hang out among the leaves, so she'll probably hang out in this area. And this girl, she's usually out in the open, but when not, she likes to go under the rocks. So I just added the uh, Amber Tetris. And he started hanging out with the White Cloud Minnow. And the interesting thing is that they, they all started showing together. Uh, usually they're really scattered, but for whatever reason, they've decided to let's band together. Maybe it's because a uh, new fish joined their rank. Look at that. One week later. All right, guys. So the Exolado has been in the tank for a little bit more than a week, and uh, not my favorite time. As you know, I hate worms. Um, but obviously, these are nice protein for them, so I I deal with it. Here you go. Go ahead. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and there's, there's the other one. The other one's more um, elusive, like I mentioned, and sure enough, he, she loves her leaves, so she's hiding in there. Uh, this other one, she likes the wood branch, so sometimes she hides in the middle, or just kind of tuck his head away under the branch when the light is on uh, for, I think it's roughly like five hours a day. And it's obviously not that bright for the exolado. Oh man, this is just gonna be kind of sick. And obviously not gonna be too bright for the exolado, so let's go ahead and feed the other one too. 
Um, I don't think you guys can see it, but I'm just gonna get this done real quick. Just go for it. There you go. There you go, she got it. Alright, let's slurp it in. First, so the exolados have been in this tank for about a week and a half now, and they have been adjusting really well. They're just kind of exploring the plants. The first one to two days, they started knocking some of these plants out, and then that's when I added these, um, these smooth rock from the 20 gallon into this tank to kind of like fence off the plants. But as you can see, they can still kind of make it into the mid of it. But ever since I added those rock, um, they no longer really pull up these stem plants. And hopefully that'll give these stem plants enough time to take root and kind of uh, lock onto the substrate, but we will see. But true to the name, the outgoing one is kind of out exploring and the more shy one uh, just kind of tucks away under the leaves when the light is on. And the light, once again, it looks bright, but it's really due to the exposure compensation on this camera. This is actually quite dim. And the plan again is to start growing more broad leaf plants in the back and grow some lilies to provide more coverage. And also right in the middle, you see that uh, there's a nice little cave right here in the branch. Um, so we'll see how it goes. This is, um. This is something this is something different than attempting. If it doesn't work out, hey, we'll start ripping the plans out and then we'll uh, do something a little different. But for now, it seems okay, even though it's only been like a week and a half, so it's too early to tell. Now at the top, you see that I already started growing some water sprite, hoping that once we get good coverage, I can move some back there to provide more shading in a section of the tank when the light is on. And you also see that I have a little fishing wire here to make sure these water sprite stays away from the uh, filter inlet so it doesn't get sucked sucked in or get pushed down uh, by the power uh, hang on power blah, blah, blah. Hang on back filter. I can't speak. I'm sorry And I also moved over my lovely portfolios from 20 gallon to here to 40 gallon to help Continue providing uh, nice biological filtration or nutrient uptake uh, Over here. I have a purigen a little bag of purigen that I run once in a while in the 20 gallon to kind of help with any of the um, uh, water pollutants. So we'll see how it goes. And in terms of filtration, I also have a sponge filter that I cycled for a couple weeks. Um, I did not carry over the other sponge filter. I figured one should be enough for the 40 breeder. If not, I'll, I got the other one as well. I'll just put that one online and we'll got double sponge filter action. And for now, Substrate seems to be working fine and all the fish are still accounted for so I don't think the exolato was able to get any of them Which is good news. I would love to and this guy got a little piece of worms hanging out I would love to uh, keep some tank mate with the exolato. So um Yeah, that is pretty much it for now And I will keep you guys posted on how this tank is doing I don't talk about this tank that often on my YouTube channel simply because I want to keep the YouTube channel mostly about marine tank uh, so I mostly do the updates on my Instagram Instagram account at Inappropriate Reefer. So be sure to add me and um, give me a holler over there at Inappropriate Reefer. I also really want to talk about the Planet Tank that I got going on. I feel like I'm uh, on the right track. Um, I've been talking about it a lot on my Instagram account as well. But if you would be interested in seeing a Planet Tank update, leave a comment and let me know. So I know that people actually care because I feel like most of my audience is for uh, Reef Tank on YouTube. So you know, see. All right, with that said, thank you again for joining on this journey. I know Exolado is such a niche topic that um, not everybody's interested in. So uh, hopefully you find this interesting as well. And if this is the first time you see an Exolado, I hope that um, I, I did them justice in making a good impression. But with that said, I'll see you next Sunday and um, have a good week.